Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and this time we're going to be reviewing the Hammond Collection Velociraptor. Okay, but mostly for the fact that let's describe what the Hammond Collection is. The Hammond Collection is actually a brand brand made by Mattel that actually specializes in, the, in actually a good Zenith versions of, of previous dinosaur tools. Dinosaur models and toys with fully or ever since the release of their of the Fallen Kingdom in the Raptor model Which is the most posable out of them all But now we're gonna be reviewing the Velociraptor and what better way as my 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 little assistant take it away <laughs> All right, here it is the Hammond collection Velociraptor yeah, I remember back at Universal Studios Japan, it's where I actually saw this, but I never really got it because I was hoping that they had the Tyrannosaurus. Let's just hope they actually, in the future, they actually release the Spinosaurus, Giganotosaurus, Indominus Rex, in the uh, actual Hammer Collection, and Indoor Raptor, and even the Scorpius Rex. But now, let's get into this. I, this is actually from the first ever movie. This is technically the one. One in which the raptor, which was just like, oh my, like, oh, and yeah, it actually comes with these little things. It actually comes with these. And there we go. And that's one of this, and the one that's right here. Uh, oh wait. Oh, there we go. That's better. And that. Well, let's get the tail out first. There we go. Perfect and balanced. And it's bolt joint. So and now let's get the out of here. Let's mire it. Like actually, what makes it different from the? If you actually remember that there's a, a version of the Velociraptor was from the Amber Collection. The Amber Collection was actually another line from Mattel that was. They would fully, hmm, fully articulated dinosaurs as well, but they were much, much bigger, and they had the Velociraptors. But the hammer collect, but they had some problem. But actually, but I actually really like this. I actually really like its size. It actually shows like a actual version of the of the Velociraptor. Let's see. Let's take a look at the model's articulation. Let's see, it can move its jaw, can actually move its head, and it's, I think it moves it like a little, it can actually move their arm, move their eyes, bend their wrist, wrist. and I, and they can move their head, the, wait, oh, and they don't have the pain to do cause, and, and, but, and the tail, which, it's bendy wire, but, I like the head, I like most of, and then there's this code that's actually in the, uh, most of the, wait, did he call? Okay, um, the pe the, t the movable, the claws, the toe claws don't move, just that which was something that was from the he from the he from the Amber Collection Raptors. Um, now, we actually get to something that was actually weird, look. The way its mouth is sculpted, it almost looks like its mouth is much longer than the, the top jaw, which is something, and we can actually see something in the skull, and the thing of the hands. Um, it looks kind of webbed like a frog, which technically makes sense because most of the dinosaurs uh, had are from frog DNA. Um, no, and the painted. Um, I'm gonna still give the skull like a nine out of ten. Good job, Mattel. He actually did a good job. But this, so mostly for the fact that this is a, actually based on the OG Raptors from the from the first movie. Basically, I think this is the big one. That's what they call it, the big one, which was technically the lead, act as the ring leader of the rapt of the Velociraptors after they escaped escaped their paddock. And now, I and I actually, I actually. Re but still, let's go. Let's talk about paint shelves. I actually, if you actually look closer to the rat, to the eye of the of this raptor, it's actually a lime green. It's actually a lime green. 
which is actually uh, very common in the raptors from the movie. Unlike the amber collection, which their raptors' eyes are mostly a lot are emerald. I love the paint of the claw of all the claws, but the dew claw, the tiny claw that are on the side of their foot, foot are technically not painted at all. This is sometimes a worrying and trend of some dinosaurs. And then we get to the spot color. Even though I'm not like a fan, like just like a simple color, but I think it's because, eh, like how brown has always been like the normal color of animals. But I actually do love the detail, like the uh, skull, like tail, like the stripes. Like I see some of the dark brown and light browns. But but the tail itself is mostly on bendy wire, and this is a, for a worrying trend in most di dinosaurs. But at least it actually has posability, posability. But the top with the tail. Tail is the fact that, uh, yeah, but hey, I'll not wait. Wait, let's see the teeth. The teeth, it's oh gosh, uh, that is a bad. Oh, okay, um, I uh, think I let's see, uh, almost like a paint, almost paint job in the mouth, but. Something like and some some horrible pain. It's okay the paint job's okay, but right where the jaw bottom jaw is, it's painted and just like a almost tannish white color. Unlike as I unlike the rest of the mouth, which is pink. Like the amber the amber collection raptor had a mostly like a movable head. But this guy but this girl does not actually. At least uh, like call Let's still. I would actually do recommend getting this raptor. Getting this raptor. But now we're going to compare it to some. I actually saw this long ago at Universal Studios in Florida. But I didn't really get it because I did. Because I kind of looked weird. But we're going to actually compare it to something. Give me a minute, guys. Nothing. All right. He is here. That is this one. We're gonna compare it a uh, size comparison of this Velociraptor with my Hammond Collection Baryonyx. And let's see. Wow. Very, very big. And yes, I got the I I chose the Baryonyx from the from Fallen Kingdom more than like the Velociraptor and the Paris or all of us is because because like I said before I, re I re but back but then I actually saw they actually had Amber, Amber Collection die like the Amber Collection Tyrannodon but 50 bucks that is not nice at all I mean my guess what I meant is that you were worth a lot of mo money but still Oh yeah, it's, yeah. So the, I actually re this Abercol, this is the Hammond Collection Marionix, and let's just say the paint job looks really good, really good. I love the actual like, like little splashes of blue on the side of the other side under the eye. Actually, the stri I'm actually a very sucker for that skin, the skin, the bumpy ridges here. Arms are actually very, are very articulated. Nope. When I one thing that was actually a funny story is that when I actually got this Baryonyx, for some reason, this leg was on the other side, so I literally thought that was a miss, miss me making the skull, but it was okay. But then I realized I turned it around, and there we go. And also, I can actually feel the abs of this figure. Mostly, that's just a. But, but what I do love is the fact that it, when it opened its jaws, oh, uh, uh, we can actually look into its mouth, into his mouth. He actually looks really good, really good. La la la. <laughs> and the paint of the teeth. Uh, let's see. Unlike the most, like the Velociraptor's teeth, which is almost like a yellow. This guy's the most cleanest teeth, teeth out of. 
all. Oh, there's a cobweb in there. So yeah, this guy's teeth is very, very clean. And also, painted claw. Painted claws, that's the one thing I always wanted, like in Dinosaur Toys. Actual painted claw, toenail, toe claws, hand claws, everything. And actually, unlike, unlike the head. But it's also that the neck is actually very poseable. Giving it almost like a good, good look. And I do recommend getting these figures. It's because of that. It's because still, I would recommend. I would recommend actually getting these, getting these figures if you ever get the chance. A chance because one, well, because sometimes they could get, wait, they could get re really, really expensive. They could get actually expensive. They could actually get really expensive. Expensive. When you get to join. Yeah, they can get really expensive. There are actually some. Unless. At least they're not as like. Imagine. Even though we never get much of the Amber collection, we only got like repainted raptors, uh, terror, a few pterosaurs, a few uh, dilophosaurs, human figures. Imagine what would. The Amber collection for Lost of is much bigger. But imagine what would a, an Amber collection be. Baryonyx would be like it would have been actually big like very very big but I think one in the amber collection had a missed opportunity is that as their basis the basis in the amber, coll amber collection is just like like a simple stand yeah just as that but they had a missed opportunity where it's like they could paint made a stand that's actually an easel nublor and the other was like easel sauna but still I would recommend getting these for getting these good figures. As you uh, as if you're actually a big fan of the Jurassic see, Jurassic franchise. And I would recommend it. I hope you actually enjoy enjoyed this video. Mostly for the mostly for the fact that if you love dino I mostly like this because I love dinosaurs so much. And I just hope. Let me like. Wait. Be like. <laughs> and I made it. Made her wave. Say they would do Barry. Right. And I hope you actually got. You guys enjoyed. Peace out. And uh, Aiden, do you have any other final words? The paint design is good. And, and also others say bye. Bye. And well, sayonara, my friends.